we take a look at some of the weirdest and most unique 3D prints ever made. Beginning at number 10, we look at the ready to crawl robots. Some of the most unique robots come from the Tokyo University. The ready to crawl robots stem from the university's design laboratory, and each robot is made in one single nylon print. Each crawler has an inbuilt three dimensional cam, so they can walk entirely on their own, which is really impressive. And a few robots can even perform front and side motion. That's not too bad for something out of one print, and hopefully we can see more updated prints from the laboratory. At number 9, 3D Printed Sugar. One of my favorite printers is actually a little bit older, and it comes from 3D systems and it can print entirely sugar. It can include flavors such as mint, cherry, and vanilla, but it also prints in any kind of color. The 3D printer works in your typical process of building layers, so each sculpture is precise and down to the millimeter. At number 8, the Bacteria Tattoo. Are you thinking about getting a tattoo? How about getting a living bacteria one? It turns out that bacteria are tough little cells which can withstand the force of a 3D printer nozzle. They also can react to different chemical stimuli and illuminate on cue when sensing each corresponding chemical. The result is quite extraordinary, and it could lead to living wearable computers which monitors your health. Now I know bacteria makes up a portion of the human body, but wearing it, it just seems really weird to me. What do you think? At number 7, the Blizzard N 3D Flosser. I'm not too sure what to think of this thing. Is it pure genius, or is it just overkill? Either way, it's a bizarre contraption which obviously flosses your teeth, and it does it in about 5 seconds flat. It all starts with a 3D scan of the customer's mouth, and for about $200 they can buy a custom flosser. The rolls do wear after about 500 times, which requires some effort to change, and I'm not too sure if that will be automated in the future as well. At number 6, 3D Printed Thermite. One university has combined energetic materials with additive manufacturing in order to produce some of the most precise nanothermite. We are talking micro-level energetics with 0.1 micron accuracy. This allows the fuel and oxidizer to be separated in specific patterns. This could lead to an evolution of controlled energetics, ranging from robotics to pyrotechnics. At number 5, the Super Mario Music Box. Many bizarre contraptions exist on Thiniverse, but this one really takes the cake. It's complex and it's actually a little bit innovative, even though it's a bit scary. I'm sure this took many hours of designing, and 3D Sage actually got to work on his channel. But I will personally stick to the 8-bit version myself. At number 4, the clone doll. This one is pretty weird, and having a clone of myself sitting on the shelf staring back at me would probably creep me out. But this may be an attractive thing to some people, and one Japanese company actually charges around $1300 for making a full clone of yourself. They do this by using multiple cameras at different angles, which can map out the subject and eventually they print a copy of the image onto plaster. And I can already kind of see where this is going to lead to, with robotic machine clones of people roaming around, and that is a little bit scary. At number 3, 3D printed meat. You can now inject a cartridge of mixed meat into whatever shape you want. Scientists at the Meat and Livestock Australia have come up with a way to utilize the lower end trimmings and make visually appealing shapes. It's not really an option for everyone, but just wait a few years and you can actually have lab grown meat. The Hampton Creek Company is already working on how to make this artificial meat, and it's going to be interesting to see if this process is actually viable or not. At number 2, the ominous spider dress. Lots of custom 3D printed clothes have been made over the years, but the spider dress is something that is actually reaching out to you. The exoskeleton suit reacts and protects the user from its surroundings. So yeah, it's a good idea to keep your distance away from this thing. And I can only imagine the same with poison needles and embedded AI. Let's hope that doesn't happen. The same creator has also made some other weird contraption stuff, including a Lego wingsuit and a robotic cocktail dress. We reached the ultimate number one, which is the age suit. If you know somebody who is overly obnoxious to the elderly, or the disabled for that matter, well, you can actually strap him into this thing. The age suit is exactly what it sounds like, and it can temporarily impair vision, endure hearing loss, stiffen joints, and even reduce coordination. This suit was originally intended for designers to understand how a 75 year old responds to vehicles, homes, clothing, and wearable gadgets. And with a rapidly aging population, this is ultimately a very good idea and it will help develop better products and architectural designs. Not to mention this is probably a product which will let you appreciate life just a little bit more. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you found it useful or enjoyable, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.